Hello and welcome to a quick run through using the EDI Cloud. First we use and recommend Mozilla Firefox. If you are not using Firefox then you can download it by clicking directly from the EDI Cloud welcome page. Follow the instructions on the Firefox web page to download and install Firefox. Let's create a test account so we can have access to the EDI Cloud. Click here on I want to try it out. Type your full name here your company name here, and your email address here. This must be your real email address, as you will be sent an authorization code via email. Since you are supplying a department stores such as Maya, Kmart, Target, JB Hi-Fi, etc., then just select Officeworks. The process for the EDI is the same for all department stores as it is for Officeworks. Click on Request an EDI Cloud Test Account. Check your email and click on the link in the email to activate your test account. Once you authorise the account, you will be sent an email with your username and password. The test account is for a 5 user account and will work for the next 7 days. After that it will be removed from the server including any information you type in. You can always create another test account. Type in your username and password here. And then click on Log In. This is the start page for the EDI Cloud. You will notice here that you already have things to do. To be taken directly to the correct page for each line, you just double left click on the line. Let's start by updating our product list. Just double left click on the top line and you'll be taken to the product information page. Since this is a test account, the barcodes are already assigned. However, you will need to type in some information for our code and description. It is advised that you use your real product information as it will be easier for you to follow later in the run through. Next is a very important part of the product page. Here we tell the EDI Cloud how your items are currently packed. It is advised that you use the correct information here, as it will make more sense later if you do. Since you are supplying a department store, type in how many retail units are in a carton. If this carton is in another shipper, then type in how many cartons there are in a shipper. If you don't use shippers, then just type 1 here. You have the option of telling the cloud how many of your shippers can fit on a pallet and how many layers there are on a pallet for this product. If you do not palletize your goods, then just type in 1 here. Type in the weight of the carton here and the cubic size of the carton here. If you do not know how to calculate the cubic size of your carton, just click here. If you need more information, then click on the Support button. It will show you and tell you all about the fields that are shown in this or any page. Each page has a support button and will show you information only for that page. You can search all the support pages by ticking here and typing in what you are looking for here. To move back to your last page, just click here. Remember to click on Update once you have changed the product details. As you complete a job in your to-do list, the EDI Cloud will update the list automatically. Now, just repeat the process for the rest of the items on your to-do list. Once you have completed updating the products, you will not have to do this again. You will now be asked to create a POA for this order. A POA is a purchase order acknowledgement and must be created for all orders. Just double left click on the line and you will be taken to the details page. From here we can see when the order is due for delivery, where it will be delivered, the cost price of your order including GST if applicable, and any notes your buyer has sent you will be shown here. Here we are shown what is ordered. Since this is a quick run through, we will not alter what we were delivering. However, if you need more information, you can click on support to see how this would be done. All we need to do to acknowledge the order is click here. The EDI Cloud will create a POA and send it to your client. You will find the screen changes. Since we accepted 100% of the order, our status has changed to ready to scan pack the order. Some department stores will send you an acknowledgement of the POA and others will send you a POC. A POC is a purchase order confirmation which confirms your changes. In the test environment, a change to the order will cause an acknowledgement and a POC to be returned. Give this a try on your next test order. In the notes section it has recorded who created the POA and when it was created. You can download a summary of the POA by clicking here or a set of packing lists by clicking here. If you are using Internet Explorer we recommend you click on support and search for Explorer in all support. 
Follow the instructions to enable you to download labels and reports from the EDI Cloud with Explorer. Now click here to be taken back to the Start page. Normally, we would see that we are waiting for acknowledgement of our POA. Since this is a test environment, the acknowledgement will come back very quickly. In the live environment, the acknowledgement can take from 10 to 60 minutes depending on your client. Next, we need to scan pack our order. You will see that in your to-do list, it is telling you that it is ready to scan pack the order. Just double left click here to be taken to the scan pack and order for delivery page. Your order will be opened and displayed for you. It is on this page you tell the EDI Cloud how the goods are being delivered. Since we are supplying department stores, you'll be shown a lot of options here. For details on all of them, click on Support. Here is the store number and the name we are currently scan packing. You can move between the stores by using these arrows. What this store has ordered is shown here. For the first store, we will use each line is one shipper. Left click here. You will see that the EDI Cloud has scan packed the items for this store. Each line has a different box number. This means each line will be shipped in its own carton. So for this store, there will be four cartons being shipped. You move to the next store by clicking here. For this store, we will use all lines will fit in the one shipper. Left click here. Now each line has the same box number. This means that all lines will be shipped in the one carton. So for this store, there will be one carton being shipped. You move to the next store by clicking here. For this store, we will use best guess. Left click here. Depending on what you entered into the product list, the EDI Cloud will now pack the goods per carton or shipper or layer or pallet. As you can see here, the items have been split into boxes of 12. There are 12 units in this box and 12 units in this box. If you did not enter any information into the product list, then you will find the EDI Cloud has scan packed one unit per carton. If you right click on a button, the EDI Cloud will use your selection to scan pack all the stores. This is a much quicker way than moving between the stores individually. You can even scan pack some stores using one button and then right click on another button to scan pack the remaining stores another way. If you want to change the quantity of an item, just left click on the line and type in the new quantity here. You'll be shown here that there is more stock to be scan packed, so make the corresponding adjustment to the other carton. If you need more information, just click on Support. If we want to change something, just highlight the lines and then click on Delete Lines. Now we need to tell the cloud the consignment note number that the goods are going to be delivered on. If you don't know this, just type in your courier name. Click here to create the ASN. Tick here once you have quickly checked the scan packing information is correct. It's a lot easier to fix a problem now than after the ASN has been created. Lastly, click here to create the ASN and send it to your client. In a few moments, you will see the screen change. Here are the SSCC numbers which the EDI Cloud has allocated to each pallet. You will also see the Print Labels button left click here. This is the ASN information window. It lists all your items and how they are packed as well as details about the delivery such as the weight and the cubic size. To produce the labels, click here and wait a few moments. The labels will be downloaded as a PDF, which you can then print to your thermal printer or laser printer. Later in this run through, I will show you how to change this format to four labels per page for a laser printer. By default, it is set to a single label per page for a thermal printer. You can save this PDF or even email it to another for printing. Follow the instructions from your client as to how to apply the labels to your palettes. Click here to be taken back to the start page. If you ever need to reprint the labels, you can be taken back to the last page by clicking here on the View ASN List button. You then select the ASN you need the labels for from the list. To produce the labels, click here and wait a few moments. Click here to be taken back to the Start page. By now, the test system would have responded to your ASN and there is nothing for you to do in your to-do list or it is telling you that it is waiting for the acknowledgement of the ASN you have just created and sent. Just wait a few moments. The EDI Cloud will update the page automatically for you every couple of minutes. If you cannot wait, just click here and this will update the page. If you want to see what you have just done, click here to be shown the user event log page. Click here to be shown everything you just did. It is in reverse order from the most recent to the oldest.
Since the EDI Cloud is a multi-user environment, it will also show you who did what, when they did it, and the IP address they did it from. Everything is tracked. You can use these fields to limit the results and then click here to show the new results. Click here to go back to the Start page. Click here to be taken to the Maintain Users page. Double left click on your line and you will see everything you have access to. If you require four labels per page, you can change it here and then click Update. To add another user, just type in the details here and select which parts of the cloud you want to grant them access to. You can even limit their to-do list to certain vendor numbers or delivery points. This would be useful if you had multiple warehouses delivering to different states. Lastly, click on the Add a new user. For more information about this page, consult the full manual which you can download from the Manuals and Video page. Click here to go back to the Start page. Click here to be taken to the Document Tracker page. From here you can see when every document was created and replied to. You can even resend a document if your client requests it. This normally would never happen, however sometimes your client may lose a document even though they have sent you an acknowledgement of receiving the document. In the test environment, all acknowledgements come from our system. In the live environment, all acknowledgements come from your client. You can move through the documents by clicking here or here. You can limit the results by searching for an order, ASN, POA or electronic invoice by using this search field here. Have a play with the rest of the buttons and remember to use the support button if you are unsure of anything. To create a new test order just click here and you will receive a new order to test within a few moments. When you are finished click here to log out. If you don't click here and leave the cloud idle it will automatically log you out after 30 minutes. Once you log out you will be shown this screen. Thank you for taking the time to trial the EDI cloud. Have a great day.